Hey, hey, uh, good afternoon. Brandon here with the Mood Trading. Um, I've been getting a lot of uh, messages and interest about uh, people knowing more about my systems. Um, and I'm here to kind of share with you the way that I trade every single day in a short little uh, YouTube video. Uh, this is my first official YouTube video. Uh, so cut me some slack. Uh, anyway, before we get started, I'd like you to read this disclaimer on my website. Give you guys a couple seconds here to read it. Uh, pause it. Uh, read it. Pretty much just states that uh, past performance doesn't guarantee future results. Uh, just have to say that to kind of cover myself. Uh, but let's uh, let's dive in. So this right here is what you'll see in my live chat room uh, every day. I post a link in my Discord uh, about 9:15, 9:20 in the morning, and the market just repeats itself time and time again. You follow the rules that I'm about to share with you in my system and use proper risk management. Uh, you, you should be uh, profitable as well. Um, this is what I do full time, and I try to make my system as simple and easy as it is. I have a few custom indicators that I use on it, uh, but I'm just kind of showing you the basics. Um, if you join my Discord on a free one week trial, uh, you're kind of welcome to see my day trading system and my swing trading system and power that it, it could have help one individual become uh, profitable so this is the day trading side uh, let's kind of let's kind of dive in um this is valentine's day february 14th uh 2020 uh, this is on friday and this is this is what i did so uh real real simple rules um if you have a red line and a red arrow uh, we're predicting the markets want to go down and if we have a blue line and a blue uh arrow we're predicting prices going going to go up and it's that simple, you know, and I'm going to show you a few examples. You just stick with uh, with the game plan here at Beast Mode Trading. Um, I think it could help uh, generate some some nice uh, gains for you guys, you know. So it's just a signal-based system, and once you've learned to follow the rules and take the system, uh, take the signals, I mean, um, you will reap the reward. But uh, that's just my opinion, and if you agree, awesome. If you disagree, and then you're right and I'm wrong, you know. But anyway, so. Uh, the shaded gray box is pre-market. Um, uh, the U.S. market opens up around 9:30 a.m. Uh, Monday through Friday holidays. It's closed. Uh, but this is the gray gray area box of pre-market. You cannot buy options. I buy stock options. Um, if you're unfamiliar with what a stock option is, uh, please reach out and I can get you on uh, some, some free information over the web to kind of give you a better understanding of what the terms mean. You know. Uh, but so this is the this is pre-market. We'll zoom in here. Uh, the black area is live market condition. Um, we can see our line is red here. So all we're doing is we're waiting for a red arrow. Where, excuse me, where do you see the first red arrow? Uh, right here on this this larger candle. All right. So when I'm trading, I'm not licensed to tell people what to do with their money, but I can share a signal uh, on my system. Of what a qualified entry would be like and and i can kind of show you how i personally would trade it i trade it every single day i know that it works you just you just stick with it um anyway here we have a red line we have a red arrow uh, we're predicting prices going to go down blue line blue arrow we're predicting prices going to go up uh winner winner loss we seem to have uh, about 75 to 82 percent win rate and if your risk to reward is one to one um should reap the reward you know so we got our first red arrow here um as soon as this candle closes this will be our entry so in a perfect world we're going to market order in right here and my stop would be previous market structure which right here i could tell is a resistance area so i'm putting a line here what i do is i gauge my entry point to my stop loss and i come down to where it is a perfect one-to-one -one risk to reward um how I personally trade is, and, I, and I'll show, I'll share with you the reason why I do this. Um, I also put a halfway point um, right here. So the halfway point is from the entry and the take profit. As soon as price breaks this line and closes below it, right here, I'm setting a trail stop back to break even because there's some times where it only, price will only go down to this halfway point and then balances. So for me specifically, I, like to take my emotions out of the trade and I set my trail stop. So it's a risk-free trade. Whatever happens, happens. If I'm up 20 cents right here, a contract, 
Um, I'm not going to give it 20 cents to get back to break even. I may give it 10 cents or 5 cents. Once I hit my target down here, um, then I'll close out of my position or I'll run a real tight stop. So we'll just remove this middle line right here, uh, the halfway point, and just keep that in, in the back of your mind. So we'll remove dr the drawing. Um, so here I would I would have entered spy puts and hit my one to one. I'm one and zero for this day. And this is Friday, uh, February fourteenth on Valentine's Day. So I am uninterested in the second, third, fourth, and fifth arrow. I like to take the first arrow, and sometimes very few. Uh, I mean, you do lose. Um, this is not the holy grail, uh, but. If I was to take any of the arrows, it'd only be the first arrow and or the second arrow. Preferably, I trade the first arrow and then I'm done until the trend changes. So here we see the line is red and then it turns into blue right here. Our next blue arrow is right here at 337.37. So in a perfect world, you're going to mark it in right about there. Where is the previous market structure? I would say these wicks right here. Uh, from seeing many many charts, I would say this is a support area. So I put I draw a line right here, and I do this when I enter this trade. I put my stop out automatically to help keep me leveled as a trader. So then you come up here, and, and your one to one is roughly about right here. And what happens? Hit your one to one. You set a trail stop. You get more money, and you end up getting stopped out. On this day, we were two and zero um, in my chat room. Uh, I provide live screen share. Um, and I share the qualified signals. So you can add two and two together and see what we do. Uh, many, many times we get uh, one to three trades from 9.30 to 11.30. I personally like to trade from 9.30 to 11.30. That's when the market is most, most volatile. And over the course of the year, the market tends to trade sideways or in a very, very small range, I would say, on a probability standpoint, from uh, 12 to 2. So. I try to get my trades in from 9.30 to 11.30, and I hit my two winners. My goal is two winners, and I'm done trading. I can make $20 for the day or $5,000 for the day. If I win two trades, I am done trading. Um, for some of you people uh, who say, well, I'm just showing you one day, I'm going to go back to uh, a couple different days and show you more examples of what we do here on the Beast Mode Trading LLC, uh, our custom day trading template. So let's go back and check another day out. Uh, let's see what happens here. So here we're going to zoom in. Remember, uh, hold on a second. Sorry, I zoomed out. Remember, I said the gray area is pre-market. So this candle right here is at 9:30 in the morning. My line was red. I was waiting for a red arrow, but we didn't get it, and we can't control that, so we're filtered out. So we zoom in, and we get a blue arrow on this blue line right there. So guess what I'm doing? I'm taking calls. Previous market structure in my eyes would be this zone area right here. So my stop out is going to be, you can put it there or you can put it there, right? So the distance from your entry to your stop loss, you would need to put up here for your take profit. And look what happens. Once again, we entered calls here and price went up. It came back down. We were sitting in profit the whole time. Hit our take profit and we're out of the trade. So now our line turns red and we don't get a red arrow. So it filters us out from potentially getting a, a losing a losing trade, you know? So all you're doing is you're waiting for one of these arrows to print underneath a candle and match this line of correspondence and you use proper risk management. You know, if you trade 10 trades with $100, you need to keep it at that. If you trade one trade with $100 and your second trade with $500 and you lose the second trade, then you have doubts about the system and you're, you're not really uh, using proper risk management, and I would say that you're not going to last too long as a trader. But then once again, that's just my opinion. If you agree, awesome. And if you don't, uh, you're right and I'm wrong. So uh, Thursday, uh, February 12th, we took uh, calls right here, and we were waiting, and we didn't get a second entry till 10:35. In a perfect world, you mark it in right there. Previous market structure would be down here. It's our last low. Um, you can put it at the wick or the bodies. Uh, uh, the difference between that is about six or seven cents. Uh, not that big of a deal. So the distance between these two lines would be about right here. And before we even know what happens, uh, we get this arrow, I would say 
Uh, here's a, a nice quality signal right here, uh, spy calls. And our stop valve should be right here. And we would need to, to zoom out, put our take profit line up there. And now, you, as you can see, price went on and hits our take profit and ends up continuing to go higher. So there's uh, two winners for this day. So in two days that I showed you, we now have four winners. And it happens more than more than not, you know. So we'll go back another day. And once again, this is pre-market. This is live market conditions. Um, <clears throat> here we have a blue line, we have a blue arrow, and we have a candles uh, candle close. In a perfect world, you're going to mark it in right here. Your stop out would be here at the bodies or the wick, wherever you choose. Um, we'll put it there. We're going to zoom out a little bit, and I'm going to show you why. Our one-to-one -one is actually up here, uh, about right there, but our halfway point is about right here. So this is a perfect example of why I kind of do what I do for uh, this reason right here. Um, so <clears throat> I enter here, goes up here, comes within two cents of my halfway point. If I'm up in a trade, uh, say $150, $200 with just five contracts, I'm going to set a trail stop uh, back to break even, or I'm pretty much going to take a wash, right? And what happened on this trade was, unfortunately, it went up and we immediately fell back down. So this is pretty much a, a wash trade, you know, and it really, really didn't, it didn't benefit us. However, if you would close it to halfway point, you would have made money on this. Um, price did go in our favor and um, we just didn't hit our one-to-one, -one, you know? So I would consider this a wash just the way that how I execute, and then our line turns red. So what do we do? We, we close out, uh, let's clear the charts, and we enter another trade right here. And this was a horrible day, but I'm kind of going to show you the power of it, and we just got to stick with the system and believe in it. So our line is red. We have a red arrow. We take puts right here. Previous market structure, you could put right here at this area, or you could put up here in this area. Wherever you put it at, you, you need to come down one-to-one. -one. Um, I believe I put it right here um, in the room, and our one-to-one -one would be about right here at 45. So our halfway point was right here, and once again, you could have set a trail stop right here, and this trade would have won against you. Um, or if you, don't, if you don't like the halfway point, setting the trail stop, remove the drawing, and you would have taken a loss on this trade. So you would have, you'd be on a wash, a break even basically on the first trade, the second trade would be basically a break even or a wash, depending on how um, you would set your trail stop or, or if, if you just take your profit out at the halfway point. We have clients who wait for the one-to-ones. We have clients who take profits at the halfway point. We have clients who do the trail stop uh, being a, a guaranteed free, free trade. You know, you're either going to break even or win just a little bit, or uh, you're not going to take a loss. And to me, that's very important. So we're going to clear lines out again and we're going to come the line is blue now and we're taking calls right here so i marked this one at this candle wick right there because as you can see we started to go down and then it bounced so here would be my stop out on this trade and our one-to-one -one be about right there and here we finally go in and hit the one-to-one -one, and it goes on to be the winner it moves past our initial take profit and that's it right there. Uh, let's clear the drawing sets. Um, it's 11.30 right now on February 12th. Uh, we, we'd be done for the day. We got three trades in today, one winner with two break-evens or minor wins. Um, so you could have potentially been 3-0. and So in three days now, we went 2-0, and 2-0, and and we basically went 1-0 because I would consider both those other trades a wash, you know? So we, we're basically 5-0 and now in three days. Uh, let's go back and scroll and see another day. And that was a horrible day. Um, that, that is a horrible day, in my opinion. So here, we're on another day. The line's blue. We're waiting for a blue arrow. We don't get it. Now the line turns red. Um, we don't get a red arrow, so we don't take anything. Unfortunately, we don't get our first signal until the line turns blue and we get this blue arrow right here at 10 o'clock. Guess what? I'm taking puts right here. You could either put your stop out right here because the market went up, came down uh, a little bit, wicked. So there's definitely a zone here. Came back down, and we never broke below this zone. So 
you could have your stop right there. And if you use this as your stop, then you would have to use your take profit one to one to be right there. Goes on to be a winner. Um, I did not put my stop there. I actually put my stop down here. Um, our entry was right there. And end up going to hit our one to one even yet again in the halfway point right there. I always set trail stops at the halfway point. And this trade, I got continuation almost up here to the take profit. I think I personally got stopped out on this red candle. So on this day, we're 1-0 and now, and we wait until uh, the trend changes. So what do we see here? Our line goes from blue to red. We got our first red arrow right here. Previous market structure would be this little top or this top. Um, I think I put mine right here. And our one-to-one -one would be about right there. And guess what happens? Goes on to be a winner. You set a trail stop. And we actually captured a lot more of this. So on this day, we, we went 2-0. Uh, oh. So now we're 2-0. and oh, We're 1-0, 2-0, and oh, and 2-0. And oh. So we are 7-0 and oh in four days. Uh, let's go back. I'm going to show you a couple more days. And we're going to wrap it up here. Here, the line is red. We're waiting for a red arrow. We don't get anything. Now our line turns blue. We're waiting for a blue arrow. And I enter here, stop out would be right there. If we get a candle closed below this line and our one-to-one, -one, it's about right here and it breaks through. You set a trail stop and price continues on to your favor. There was a very green day, uh, another winner. Uh, let's see, here, and this is, I'm happy this, this kind of showed you. So here the line is red. We get our first red arrow right here at 33 cents. If you put your stop right there, you're getting stopped out on this candle. So you're taking a loss. You took a loss on this. However, um, price did end up going our way, and it would have went on to be a great winner. But using the rules, we don't know that it's going to continue in our favor because we broke the previous market structure. So if you didn't use this wick and you feel that uh, $0.25 cents is too tight, your previous market structure – going back would be because this this point and this point is the same area so our next structure would be right there so if you use this structure and it, and it closed basically right on the line um you you could have you could have handled this trade and ended up being a winner you know i took a loss on this trade uh but as you can see my first trade was much larger than the loss that i took here so i went one and one today and i was green for the day yet again so every day i provided you an example uh, we're green. So we're going to go back and look at another day. Let's see what we got here. Um, here, our line is red. Once again, this is pre-market. This is live market condition. Our line is red. We have a red arrow. We enter puts right here. Previous market structure would be about right there, and our one-to-one -one would be about right here. Guess what happens? We entered uh, puts here. We had to deal with a little bit of retracement, but we stuck to our grounds and followed our rules. We did not get stopped out. Goes on and you know, be a winner for a, another green bag, we call it, in our Discord. Um, our line goes from uh, blue, from red to blue. So now we're waiting for a blue arrow. And we would enter calls right here, right? So our previous market structure, you would put it right here, you get stopped out um, from 10 cents, 30 cents. Some people, that's a little bit too tight on the spy. Um, so our last true market structure, our next point would be about right here. So depending where you would put your stop out um, in the room, we put our stop right here. So our one-to-one -one would be about right here. And guess what happens? We had to deal with some retracement. I actually thought we were going to take a loss here and we did not we went on to hit our target and ended up being a winner uh let's clear the drawing set so this day we gave us uh two winners and see one more two more days and we'll wrap it up here boom boom all right so here um our line's red we get our first red arrow we're taking puts here previous market structure would be this point right there and our one-to-one -one would be about right there. Well, guess what happens? Um, hits our one-to-one, -one, hit a trail stop, it continues on in our favor, and there we win. Well, guess what happens here? So here, I'm uninterested in taking puts anymore. Our line turns blue, and we don't get a blue arrow. But once this candle prints right here, and we have a red arrow, our line actually ended up changing back to red again. So we're taking puts again right here, 
previous market structures there, uh, our take profit is about right here, and we go in and get we get paid again. Um, we're going to clear drawing set. I'm uninterested in taking any more puts with this line. I want to see the line change colors. Uh, this is our beast mode, beast mode trading LLC uh, custom indicator. Uh, we also have another filter too that is not shown on the chart. Um, and if you will join our Discord for a free one-week trial, you can see what we do daily. Uh, our line is blue now. We have a blue arrow right here. We're taking calls. Our previous market structure stop will be right there. And our take profit is right there. There goes one to be another winner. So this day, we actually got three winners by uh, 11 o'clock uh, Eastern time and for another green day. If you added all those days up, we went 3-0. and uh, We had one day we went 1-1. One we had another day we went one and zero oh because we had two washes and we had two or three other days we went two and zero. Oh. So if you just traded my system for the last uh, week and a half. Um, you'd be very green. So with that being said, um, I like if you guys would uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, this is my first video. There's going to be plenty more that will be uploaded and kind of share with you how I trade. Um, I'm also going to provide uh, my Discord link. I'll give you a free one-week trial. Come on in. There's a free section and a paid section. So if you, if you feel that what I do doesn't benefit you as a trader, you can still stay in my Discord community for free. And we have a, a live live free chat that's available as well. So um, I appreciate your time, uh, giving me this time to kind of share with you what I do here. Uh, greatly appreciate it. And uh, we look forward to potentially growing and, and building friendships and uh and whatnot in, in our Discord community. So, hey, thanks again for your time. Uh, you have a wonderful day. And if you have any questions, concerns, or comments, uh, please reach out uh, to our website, uh, Beast Mode Trading, LLC, or no, Beast Mode Trading and uh, our email's on here. So, any questions, concerns, uh, Discord link will post below. Uh, once again, we are greatly appreciative for your time. Have a great day. Beast mode out.